like the beautiful wallpaper. Pretty nice, right? Except for this. And except for this. What's the cause of this? Have you ever been called to repair this? Absent some other circumstance, you could say that this in all likelihood, without any other information other than what I'm showing you, that this was likely due to the cause of having failed to put sufficient paste on the edge of the wall covering. Granted, that panel coming down fully would not suggest what this suggests, but since this and this one and that one all manifest an issue at the seam, I think we can safely assume that the failure of the wall covering to remain on the wall here is the same reason why the seams failed. And that's simply due to an insufficiency of paste. It's an easy fix, but nonetheless, it's a problem. Let's fix this. Now, how do we fix this? You see this paste here? You gotta wet this down. Because if you don't, it's going to cause a texture under your repair. And so we're wetting it. We're re-liquefying the paste so that we can float the paste. You see how it's getting wet already there? I can feel it, see that? Okay, so we want to wet it so that we can make it smooth. That's the goal. And what you're going to do after that is simply and carefully smooth it out. This is like wet sanding. Take your time, be patient, and stop panicking if this should happen to you. It's easier to be the repair guy, granted, when you're the guy doing the repair, than it is when you're the person who makes this happen. But look. And an added benefit is that we're working with textured paper. Okay? So you have the wall there, which is almost perfectly smoothed out for our needs. Then I turned the wallpaper around and I gently spritzed the surface with water, removing any dry flakiness. This is now moist paste. It's actually gonna help us get the piece back up together, 100%. I think I've discovered the reason for this failure. You see that flaky stuff? That's not, that's not American wallpaper paste. I'm betting that that product came from the UK and that it's the the paste that you mix in the water because i'm doing this a long time and i've never seen that happen before i'm going to confirm with the owner so we're pasting the wall whether or not this product is paste the wall or paste the product doesn't matter i have dampened my my paper with water and now i'm putting full strength clear type 2 vinyl paste on the wall to form the perfect bond. Okay, moving right along, I direct your attention only right now to the panel above the socket. You saw what a mess it was. Now, in all fairness, let me show you the side angle. 
perfectly reinstalled. Now, when you get a lot of experience in this field, you may be called upon by the company who sells this is very expensive stuff. <clears throat> and here's the respect you get in the industry. They will send you to the field and pay you. And they will tell you or ask you to determine why the failure took place. After thoroughly examining the situation above the wallpaper and under it, and knowing the climate history of this installation and the a roundabout date of the installation, I have concluded that the installer bears no fault whatsoever of this accent wall failure. The reason is, is because of the paste that is supplied with this product. It's a flaky, dry, matter that actually almost looks like grits if you've ever eaten that food it's dry you mix it with a proportionate amount of water they give you sufficient paste according to the amount of rolls they sell you and then you mix it i can see that it was evenly applied on the other side because i had to remove it evenly from the wall and or the paper that pulled it from the wall. The rest of the material remains intact, except for those areas that I identified in the beginning of the video. But just to explain, this is not a, an installer failure. We presume that he or she mixed it properly. This is a paste failure. You can see the paste on the other side. It failed to sustain its own product. And I think it's one of those things where a company goes through trial and error and then simply increases the proportions of those materials which make it bond to the substrate. We saw underneath this wall covering that the substrate was properly prepared. And so I would tip my hat to the installer and tell the company that owns the product that their, their, their glue, that, their paste that comes with the ready mix, that comes with this product, is the culprit. This is why it's so important not to dilute your clear paste, okay? Leave it up to the laboratory technicians who develop the product to determine the proportions of the paste to the wallpaper. You don't want to be watering this down on a $15,000 installation job and have it fail you. Just go out and buy another bucket of the stuff. When the company who owns this product that I have here starts paying me to advertise for them, I'll start telling my viewers what it is. Unless, of course, they're one of my regular viewers and they ask me what is the product, I'll shoot them an email and tell them. But fair is fair. Uh, I don't want to do free advertising on my, uh, my YouTube channel uh, that, that may, in the future, have information that I no longer support. And so... I hope you understand. Now for these areas, this is always something a little tricky. You don't want to undo what's fine, okay? So I'm pulling it back just about two inches beyond <clears throat> the repair area. That's all I want to do. Okay. Now, for that, I want to reintroduce a little water to the backing of my product, right? 
Why is that? Well, you saw how nicely the water did. First of all, look at it, it just went back on its own. You see, when you wet it, you make the product conform to uh, the contour. And so in this case, it's flat. And so what happened? It went right back, right? Look at the whole thing went back. But that's what I wanted to show you. You introduce a little water, it immediately uh, wets this very nice product's backing, which is absorbent, as you can see. And then it, it just repairs. Don't panic and think, oh, you gotta start ripping this off. No, the wallpaper actually is designed with the intention that it may perhaps need to be repaired. I'm going to give that a little time so that both the substrate and the product can absorb the moisture from the paste so that I can make the paper, the backing of the paper, and the wall be one with the paste. It literally becomes one until, of course, it's removed one day. And now giving the product three minutes to integrate the liquid to the backing, what I was just saying prior to the less segments end. Gave it three minutes, and now I'm just simply gently putting the seam back together. Of course, everything here is protected with plastic, okay? I'm kneeling on plastic. Just so you know, we're not a sloppy company. People love that. And it usually gets you a lot more work. I'll tell you one thing. If you're a reliable person, you will have more work than you can handle. If you show up, if you can show up at eight o'clock in the morning, you're like, you're like the king these days. You think about how many people don't get out of bed to go to work. And instead, they go and play what? video games. And I know half of the people watching this right now are saying, yeah, 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 that's my whatever. That's my, I know a guy like that. Or I know a guy like that, whatever. But that's what's happening today. So anyway, I just direct your attention to one repair at a time. So we did the panel. Our panel is good. Okay, we just got to wipe it down. We got a new product for that. And now we just work in the seam. Don't be worried about um, expanding the, the paper. I would be more concerned about the paper having shrunk. On type two vinyl, this repair is just not going to work. What is type two vinyl? It's the stuff you see in the hallways of hotels, at the elevator and in your hotel room. That's type two vinyl. This is not type two, this is type one. Residential. Nobody's banging into this with a suitcase, right? I just did a painting video for those of you who watch all of my videos. Let me just tell you a quick thing. So I put tape along the trim where it was supposed to go. And I painted the wall pink, and when I pulled up the tape, there was still the sloppy prior painter's blue paint on the edge. So I said during the video, I was just gonna go up and bring white onto the trim. And one of my regular viewers said, oh, you know, you should have done that. And, you know, it kinda, it doesn't get annoying. It just becomes sort of, you wonder if people are watching the entire video. I knew it was a long video, but nonetheless, yes, of course, we touched that up. Let's fix that. All I'm gonna do 
is get my corner under there. I had it, but I lost it. These tools are good to have. They don't tear open the paper. See that? And you go easy until you find resistance. This way you don't rip it. Okay. All right. So I've lifted it up into about here. and use the brush to insert the paste. But the point at which the paper and the wall are actually adhering is the point beyond which you don't wanna go, right? So you open it up, put your glue in there. The end result is there's always a pocket of air that gets trapped between where it's attached and where it wasn't. And so for that issue, I recommend that you push the glue into that pocket. You can actually hear it, listen. Right? Wet paste doesn't make that noise. Air pockets do, listen. What I'm doing is I'm filling in the point at which attached wallpaper and detached wallpaper meet, evidenced by that noise. But you'll only get it if you move the smoother in the right direction. And now, since it's wet, you want to flatten it out. Uh, a lot of science behind it, right? I think this is what freaks people out with wallpaper. They don't want to touch it. You hear the air? You see that paste? It's good. We move it into those areas where it makes that noise. And we fill the points of detachment. That noise is detachment. Not like spiritual detachment. No. This is physical detachment. Okay, looking good. And then we just wipe it down and proceed. Okay? Now, I did such a good job. I honestly forget the seam I was working on. Pretty sure it's right there. But I'm checking every seam, so it doesn't matter. Let me give you a broader view. Okay. We gotta do this one now. So, I'm right near our water bottle. Let's get rid of that now. We got lift off at least four inches on the left, four inches on the right. We'll get it to look perfect. We did it over there.
If you take a thin one, you'll tear it. You want a thick one for this. Where's the repair? It's where the bubble is, Spencer. I see it. Okay, you're right. Do it again. Where's the repair? I don't see it no more. <laughs> All right, I like that. How about you? right over the end of the headboard. Those blotches are wet. That's wet. But doesn't it look lovely?